off to Siberia in Russia or would it be USSR? I can't remember if it had. Yeah, I, no, I think it would be USSR at the time. I may be wrong. Hey, if you guys know, put in the comments. I'm most likely to put an annotation to tell you otherwise anyway. But it doesn't really matter. Because this one is. Oh, uh, well, I'm dead. Thanks. <laughs> this one's kind of accurate, right? You know, it, there's snow there, right? I mean, I doubt there's everything else in here. Aw, oh, they. I personally wish they actually had taken the effort to make them look, do that stereotypical Russian dance. That would be kind of funny. But no, apparently they just get crazier ads. As well, might as well discuss the other games because pretty much these levels are pretty much all the same. Oh, of course, the game like Wacker Career, which came with its own mysterious. Um, well, Wacker Career is pretty much like Wacker Mole, except they made it ridiculously hard. This you could probably find the ending on YouTube. Actually, I know you can find the ending on YouTube because. Uh, because uh, the Gaming Sanctuary's YouTube page actually has it. But that game is pretty much whack a mole. It also has a special controller that's really stupid rare. And I think like maybe like two people have it. Because it was only for that game. And then they also came out with another one in the same year, which was 1993, with, with Funny Boy. I'm mean, sorry, I keep on confusing name. Funny World and Balloon Boy. Balloon Boy was pretty much Buster Brothers, and Funny World was pretty much and Funny World was pretty much a shooting gallery where you shot Winnie the Pooh. No, really, if you look at the game, it pretty much is just like you're gunning for Winnie the Pooh. And those games were ridiculously hard. <laughs> Definitely the Wacker Career one, which got faster and damn near impossible to actually beat. I think it actually was impossible. But this one, strangely enough, is actually, which came out in 1995, I guess after two years they said, hey, people may not like this, so let's make an easy game for them. Of course, in this case, it's, it's pretty much to balance this shot to hell, but it's playable, I guess. And pretty much, yes, I... And of course, they just reused the enemies from last stage. They couldn't even dress them up like everybody else. I mean, you couldn't make them, you know, maybe have a hammer and sickle or something. No? I guess someone failed geography. And I think if you actually had another player, if you had another player, it would, they would, you would be able to tell each other apart. Of course, it really wouldn't really matter. Alright, upgrade. Good. I didn't want to accidentally grab a, another gun and just. That would just ruin my day a little bit more. Another problem with this game is that you can see there's big swatches where there's no enemies showing up, so I'm just... I guess they want you to appreciate the music. The music is not the worst I've ever heard. It's damn near nowhere near the best, either. <laughs> yeah, pretty much I'm just gonna... This whole thing is just pretty much me ragging on this game because there's really nothing to it. Once you pretty much get past the first stage, there is nothing to this game. Oh yeah, I forgot about the... The one thing about this game, though, is that if you have upgrades, you get to keep them when you switch weapon types. Oh, god. And there it went. Oh, I continue. Oh. Mm. So, if you have to level 3 upgrade, you keep the level 3 upgrade. If you switch to depends on you know if you switch to Vulcan to Wave, you keep it. And now the slowdown is really coming in. So that's one good thing I just I guess. There's there's a couple of things I guess about in this game because there's really nothing to be sure about in this game except for the fact that you will see you will have times where you will be screwed, like here. As you can see, I'm now down to my tiny weapons, and they can't kill those can can dancers for anything. You gotta have an upgrade to kill can can dancers. So we're gonna do a little fast forwarding. Yeah, because uh, yeah, we just here to no no fuck that. We're not doing that. You see how long it takes when you have no upgrades? Yeah, this is this is this is in this is three times speed. I pretty much tripled the time. 
I mean, well, a third of the time it actually took to do this. And you can still see, I'm still fighting him. Yeah. Yeah. Bullshit. Gotcha. So let's go on and go to our next destination. China. Where? Uh, let's assume it's Beijing. Yeah, sure. That's, that's a place in China, right? See, you can tell it's China. Look, there's that little, there's a little hut with the curved roofs. No, no, you can pretty much substitute this with with Holland, and it probably wouldn't make much of a difference. Okay, as you can see, these other enemies now they got cute little faces. Oh, they little anime faces. Except I can just be playing playing around with cotton and have. You know what? Let's not talk about bear games in that because we can just be playing those bear games. So we're gonna get here, shoot him in the head. All right, got another bomb. Oh look, they're almost yin yang symbols, almost. But you can tell we're in an Asian place, right? Right? Well, at least it's not overly racist. I guess we can give that game some a bit of credit. But is this supposed to be the Yang Sea right here? Right here? I think that river is supposed to be it. Nah, it probably isn't. Just like you have those random hills that don't look anything like what real hills. I mean, yeah, they look like Indian mounds, but we're in China, so that shouldn't even be considered. Maybe they're just maybe they're just burial mounds in general. Yeah, I deserve that death right there. But hey, you know, since there's other Taiwanese games that are coming out that are still unlicensed, you know, like Bigger Prince. That that game came out, that one was okay. Woo in the Legend of Wukong. Those were brought up. Those were okay games. Okay, maybe not Legend of Wukong so much, but it's not. And there's some translations that are coming out for a couple of times in these games. You know what? Why is there still slow down? There's only three enemies on the screen. But pretty much after this game was made, AVRs and never made anything else. No one really cared that they didn't make anything else. <laughs> Not even people in Taiwan. And they don't even get that many video games. And they don't even have that many video games, really. That's why there's so many knockoffs that come out. Well, so many knockoffs and just unlicensed games, because they can't get the licenses for this stuff. Oh man, I'm running through my credits. Better watch out. I might end up losing at some point in this game. And more asteroid field yin yang symbols and we're killing the heads of Rosie the robot that's innovative game for you all right got my bits got my bits back now if I can just get my time back it'd be great I guess you I guess you can say it's kind of bullet hell ish could you no, no, you really couldn't. You just this is more like spaghetti and throwing it on the wall and see what sticks. Except everything stuck. <laughs> and nobody was really paying attention to what was on the wall anyway. I mean you gotta give them some credit, right? Some, not really much of anything else. Alright, never shield, good. That'll definitely last me when I actually need to fight the boss in this area. That's why I'm gonna take him down, like a boss. This game is actually this is one of the rare times that actually this game I usually play is never this generous with the one ups. Usually I only get like one or two throughout a playthrough. Now they gave me like at least five already, haven't they? I don't know, I haven't really been paying attention to how many one ups they give me. We only really need a one up count really. I'm I'm still I'm still running through credits, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Might as well abuse. Oh, there's another one up, and I am out of shields. That's not going to be too much of a problem. So pretty much I I always avoid the can can dancers anyway. What would they be? What kind of dancers would they actually do if it was in China? And we're going to fast forward through this one too. This one went six times speed. So yeah, you see how long it takes me. So I abused the hell out of my bombs. 
and get killed on purpose just to abuse them again. It does have a pattern, but what's the point of showing the pattern? The pattern is actually pretty easy to dodge because, it's, as you can see, he just shoots missiles. But you would have to be sitting here a long time to actually finally kill him off. But, final video!